Hello, and welcome to the official update video for NT Championship 9. Okay, now, I hope you're all stupidly excited for- Get down from there and sit back on your chair! Come on, show your excitement responsibly, you could have hurt yourself. Anyway, hope you're all excited for a brand new game joining the dial. This time, we're not completely removing Skyblockle, but we're rotating it out for a new contender, Sky Battle. You'll find a lot of similarities between the two, but Sky Battle is played out much, much faster. This time, it's an elimination-based three-round game where each round lasts only a few minutes. Players start on their own islands with a bunch of loot available. However, all are equipped with an infinite supply of concrete, meaning never running out of blocks when bridging and the introduction of tons of new strategies. Over the course of the game, the red border will move inwards very quickly, eventually forcing all teams into the very, very empty center. And that, that's pretty much it. Get your kills and be the last player remaining to win the most coins. It gets pretty sweaty, trust me. Oh, and there's a, there's a vertical border. Good luck. Right, time to run through everything else. Once again, Battlebox is getting a new map. This time, it's down in the subway. Hope you uh, weren't in a rush to get to work or anything, because um, you've, you've got to first put some wall blocks in the floor while an enemy team tries to stop you. Yeah. Rocket Spleef is getting a brand new tasty burger map. It totally does not look silly at all. <clears throat> Scrumptious. We're adding some visual improvements to the Decision Dome. Now, at the very end of the voting phase, each segment will show you the total score of the chickens within them. And, to help prevent total confusion over the UNO reverse card item, we're adding a bit of feedback improvement to show you very clearly what on earth's happening to all those chickens. Sands of Time has got a bit of reshaping on the Sand Timer entry spot to help those who keep missing their sand placement. Don't worry, we got you. Now, previously, if a player was to disconnect during any elimination-based games, they would be eliminated instantly to help prevent the situation where a player could log off while being targeted. Well, to help random crashes or disconnects, we've made an improvement where the player will now be replaced with an NPC of themselves, giving them a chance to log back in and keep playing, unless they get killed while they're away, of course. Yum. All those much-deserved kills. Following its completion, last event, Parkour Warrior is again getting brand new parkour challenges. This time, Epic Landlord is super, super convinced that nobody's completing it. But I don't think his opinion is worth much anymore. He retired after all, didn't he? Lastly, there's this new weird face thing at the top of the volcano in the hub. I, I think it's some sort of hub game. Um, do expect us to keep adding silly little things like this over time. Right, that's it for this video. There are a ton of other tiny little improvements not worth mentioning, but I'm sure you'll catch them during the show. Thanks for watching this MCC's update video, and I hope you all kept that rabid excitement in check throughout. As always, thanks for all the support, and see you on Saturday, 12th of September. Okay, you can get back up on the ceiling fan now.